G'day everyone and welcome to another video review from ChronicleChamber.com. Today I'm reviewing a couple of items that I recently got from the Comic Kingdom, which is kind of like one of the, I guess you call it a sister company from King Features. They've recently released some uh, products. There was this little pin, which was a little giveaway at the San Diego Comic Con. There was this t-shirt here. And there's been a couple of others and we've seen some photos from um, some members um, buying some t-shirts for their kids including a onesie for their baby as well so shout out to Luke Geegan for that one okay so first of all let's have a look at this pin try and get it in focus the pin is probably the best out of the lot that I can see here it's a design that we've seen a million times However, it's slightly raised. I'm not sure if you can actually be able to see that on a video. You know, it's slightly raised. It's a cool design. Um, it's well made. It's got a pin. Now, apparently, these may become available uh, later on for purchase. Uh, at the moment, they are only available at the San Diego Comic Con. But apparently, we have heard some news that they might be available. If they ever become available, we will let you know. There's been a couple that's crept up on uh, eBay since San Diego as well. So this one I'm very, very happy with. Um, very thanks, uh, very a lot of thanks to the person who helped me get this. If you can get one, get it because this is a top quality pin and I really, really am a fan of it. Next one, I got these coffee mugs. Now, coffee mugs in Australia are... A fairly big thing and I think a lot of that's come from the monkeys of the Melbourne coffee mugs they were big in the 80s and 90s and I think people are still very keen on them uh, the only recent one we've had would be probably the the heat changing one from icon these ones are uh, they're about 15 US in my opinion they're not worth the money um, now again this is going to be interesting to see it but the quality of the transfer is not there the mug a mug's a mug you know made in Thailand I wonder you know but the the quality is just not there this one here is a very good example where you've got you know I love the design I love the wording around the side and all that but the fact that it kind of goes all the way up right to the lip it just reeks of cheap made, cheaply made, and there's no design thought about it. Like it would have been better if it was shrunk a little bit so there was a nice, even empty space or gap between the wording and the top and the bottom. Um, and then even if you look at some of the wording, it's not exactly totally clear as well. And then like the logo there, again, not exactly very clear and it just it just reeks of something very cheaply made this one here you know i like the design we've seen it before with the with the icon um heat transfer one and then bam we get to the handle and it's just a cheap sticker that's you know they could have at least given us a green mug you know you got a black mug here which looks all nice they could have given us a green mug because this little white bit with the handle, it just reeks like an amateur job. There's no care in it. That one's made in China. Oh, go figure. Okay. Mugs aside, I would give the mugs... Mm, this one would be my favourite. Probably give it a three. This one, maybe a two. And this one, maybe a three, if that. Okay, the shirt. Now, when we saw this design, it looked good. It was, again, the same design, so to speak, with the pin. But what was different is that there was uh, images or a picture of the Phantom actually in the purple. In the design that we, that we saw online, it was very prominent. I'll show up a picture now. Slide out, and you see this. You cannot even tell that it's there. I'll bring it a little bit closer so you can kind of get a bit of a look. You know, there's the fan's face. But you can hardly tell it's there. The shirt itself, 
it's nice, it's a nice material. You know, it's a design that we've seen a million times. They really should come up with something a little bit different and, you know, a different style guide. But this, I thought, was going to be a point of difference. And that's the reason why I spent money on this is because I thought it was actually going to give us a product that was actually worth buying. But the shirt, maybe a two and a half, maybe a three at the absolute best. Overall, a very disappointed. Um, luckily, you're not having to pay a million bucks in postage. They do do free shipping. And if you are kind of lucky, you can get some uh, some coupons, which will give you some percentage off as well. So, you know, I didn't have to pay postage. These were 15 bucks each. Shirt was another, another 20 bucks, I think it was. No, so I think it was about 30 bucks. So, you know, this is US as well. So, but with the free shipping and then the fact that I was able to use a 15% or a 20% off coupon, it brought it down to something half reasonable. And so I'm not totally disappointed. But I would not go rushing out to get these unless you're a completist or unless you're a t shirt person or a mug person or you're someone who just has to get absolutely everything. There's better things to spend your money on. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, unfortunately, we can't give everything a good mark. Uh, this one barely passes, um, but what can you do? Until next time, uh, keep watching our videos, keep uh, watching and listening to our podcasts and keeping an eye on our website. Till next time, happy phantoming.